previously on the Youth Edition. Welcome back to the Youth Edition Career Mode. FIFA 18 here with Forest Green Rovers sitting top of the table. 20 games played. We are deep into January. We are in the middle of a transfer window. And we'll have to wait and see if there are any additions to the side. Today we have three games for you in the Premier League. Uh, I'm assuming that there will be three. There could be some transfer action. But uh, we'll try and get three through. Uh, we do have Leeds to play. Swansea City to play. And we've got another encounter here against Crystal Palace. So, uh, you know, we've been uh, dominating the teams near the bottom of the table with the new sliders. Um, let's hope that uh, it gets a little bit more competitive. I don't want to make any adjustments as yet because when I did test, it was against Dortmund in the Champions League and that was where the struggle was. And we do have Bayern Munich coming up. Um, so I'll probably want to wait until we play some of the bigger teams in the Premier League and, uh, of course, Bayern Munich in the Champions League just to see where this slider set really is at. Uh, it's definitely a struggle, but... Uh, Coming against some, against some of those bottom teams, we've found some space and Dylan Allen has been destroying. So uh, hopefully we can continue that momentum here today. Let's get into it. Transfer window is open. Forest Green on the up. All right, here we go, ladies and gentlemen. We are at home at the Echo Tricity Arena. It is Forest Green hosting Leeds United. And I've gone and gotten myself some uh, control freaks. I'm not sure if they're gonna get canceled out by the green screen. Um, we're gonna try these out. Uh, so, <laughs> could be all over the show. They do add a little bit of height to the controller. Um, but we'll wait and see what happens here. Leeds sit in 13th position with a negative 7 goal difference. We are absolutely dominating here in the Premier League. These boys are in form. We're sending the first team out again. And Dylan Allen is looking for more goals. He's picked up 18 now for the season. And uh, a slow start for him. He got going in the Champions League. We brought him into the Premier League and he's absolutely gone to town. And we are the top scoring team in the league at the moment. That is why we are top of the table. I think we're also the best defensive team. So everything coming up for us green at the moment. Hopefully we can continue this momentum here against Leeds. Uh, they've got some decent youth and young players coming through for them. Uh, maybe we will see. I think some of our lads are out on loan here at Leeds. But here's the Forest Green lineup. It's Santa between the sticks, of course. Cosmosu, Nicastro, Bischoff is in for the replacement of Hayes, who's injured. Taylor, Wilson, Mayich, who's been very good this season. Higginye, Charlie Allen, Ben Kide, and the captain, Dylan Allen, is up front. Uh, well, we'll have a quick look here and see who's in the lead side. Uh, a few of the lads are away on loan. And um, maybe they'll get a gig here today against their in real employer in Forest Green. So here is the lead side. Vote uh, of between the sticks, okay. Byram, Oxford, Tranis, okay. Uh, Vieira, Cristante in the midfield there. Yalgai and Ruiz. Yeah, on the bench. No, I don't think there was any of our players. Oh well, let's get into this one. To my edge. Plays it forward. Charlie Allen, quick touch on. Dylan Allen, he'll lay this one off. Charlie! Oh, works the keeper immediately. And Forest Green have the intent. And really dominating this Premier League at the stage. Just showing that they are a superior side. But Charlie's just cracked one straight at the keeper. He had to react. Deep into the back of the box. Taylor should have this covered. Oh, he's handed it straight to the attacker. And he's fucking missed. Can he keep it in? He can. Oh, and then just gets destroyed. And it will be a free kick here for Forrest Green. Higinye hacked down. And let's hope it's not a serious injury. It looks like he'll be all right. Oh, hacked off again, but he gets the pass away. Alfie Wilson finds Higinye. Turn and burn. Higinye, oh, get out of the way, Alfie. Oh, just giving it away. Great save from Zanet. Keeps us in the game here. Cosmoshu can't keep it in. A throw in for Leeds. 
Come forward with a little bit of intent at the moment. We're going to have to uh, sit in here and dig in. And fight on. Come on, Cosm Shoe. Again, Yang gives it away, gets it back. Cosm Shoe gives it away again. Here, Sai takes the shot. And Zanon, what another good save. The Italian keeper is having a good season. It's a corner now for a screen. 27 minutes gone. Leeds making a push forward. And there's the header over the top. Zanon again. Well, three good saves here as Leeds start to push on. And, well, you know, career mode, that second half of the season, it tends to be a little bit tougher. Zanon has made another quality save. I think he's an 86 rated keeper now. Nice Cosmo shoot. Darts his way forward. Elfie Wilson does well. Tips past one. Charlie Allen inside finds Dylan. Holds up the play nicely and then passes it off. Charlie Allen to Elfie Wilson! Oh, brilliant football from Forrest Green. And Alfie Wilson gets the goal. And uh, yes, that is his first goal of the season. Dylan Allen held up the play perfectly. Charlie with the ball inside and Alfie Wilson with an exquisite finish. It's 1-0 Forrest Green and we're just doing the job now. Sitting back, defending, riding the storm. And then fighting our way through the traffic. Some exquisite passing football. Alfie Wilson gets the goal. It's 1-0 Forrest Green. Solid from Bischoff. Taylor is down. Here's Ben Kite. Oh, no. Well, there goes Taylor. And that could be a big story coming up for Champions League football. 41 minutes gone. The American left back's gone down with what looks to be a knee injury. Well, just crushed under three or four men. And, and there's a lot of weight to take on your leg. So he'll check out. Cosmichu will move across the left back. Colombo is on the bench. So he can come in and play right back for us today. 1-0 up. And uh, all thoughts are with Taylor. Oh, Dylan Allen just wrecks him. Again, yeah. Oh, there's the whistle. Well, 1-0 up. But the big story is the injury to Taylor. The Romanian does well. Cuts through. Takes the strike. But he's put it high. Play forward. Oh, Zanon again. He's had a stellar game. Oh, Cosmichu caught napping on left back. Patrol. And shot came in. Zanon made the save. And, uh, they've got a throw in now. Guinea with the tackle. Straight to the uh, Leeds man inside. Zanon again. Lovely work from Guinea. Dylan Al lays this one off. Charlie plays it off. There's Ben Kite. Does well to get around his man. He's going to look for the opening here. Goes to the back post for Higuinho. Get him! 2-0. Higuinho gets another goal. It's uh, third of the season from memory. Yes, it is. 2-0 Forrest Green. The lovely ball in from the Frenchman to the back post. And the Swede wasn't going to let him down with that one. He's been working on his stats and he's starting to fire. Ben Kai, that is a cracking ball to the back post. And Higuinho with a little bit of venom off the forehead. Just whips it past the keeper, off his own noggin. And it's 2-0 Forrest Green. Oh, Cosmos was picked off that pass and he pushes his way forward here, little Cos. He is absolutely spent. He's gonna have to find something. He finds Charlie Allen, he pushes on forward. He finds Dylan Allen who tries to dink the keeper, cleared away and smashed downfield. And Castro to Ben Kide. Maich back out wide, here's Ben Kide again. Been involved, and here he comes out wide. Cuts back, tries to pass it off, but picked off. Alfie Wilson gets in there, makes the cut off. Here's Cosme Shoe. He'll slip this one off for Charlie Allen. And Charlie do something here. Slips it off. He's got Ben Kide. It's another back ball post here for Higuinho. Oh, save. And Dylan Allen can't get on the end of it. Here's Charlie. Can he set something up here? Passes it off. He's got Maich. He gets picked off. And Leeds have woken up a little bit here at 2-0 down. They make their way forward. Cosmichu's not going to be able to do the job here, I don't think. He does well, though, Cosmichu. Romanian courage. And here is Welfie Wilson. Feeds it off and finds Colombo. And here we go down the line. Piquinho needs to make the run. Get on your bike, son. Oh, Colombo's going to get picked off. No use as he strength perfectly. Here's Elfie Wilson. He'll play it back to Maich. Maich will get a run on here from Charlie Allen. He darts around one. He needs to feed this one off. He does to Higuinho, who turns and shoots. And a good save from the keeper. Like a chance to make a couple of changes with a minute to go. Lafeuve will check in. And so will Sunhi So. Oh, Zanon again. He's having a brilliant day. A big save from the Italian. Oh, and a goal kick. Zanon's made nine saves. And that has been a brilliant day for him. 
Preserves a clean sheet here, Zanon. Under the pump. Cosmos Shoe feeds it off. And it's another victory for Forest Green. And I'm going to put that one on the back of Zanon. Nine saves. And 2-0 uh, victory. Three points in the bank. Forest Green on a charge. Well, taking a look at the stats, it was eight shots apiece. Um, we had the possession. We slowed things down a little bit. Only the eight tackles for us. And taking a look at the performances, Charlie Allen, two key passes and an assist, a couple of tackles, an intercept and a 9.2. An 8.6 for Alfie Wilson with a goal and three intercepts. An 8 for Zanna, nine saves made by the keeper and two crosses caught. Uh, a 6.6 .6 for Colombo checking in, 7.8 for Nicastro with five intercepts. A 7.7 .7 for Bischoff with one and one. Uh, Cosmoshu an 8.2, had to move to the left-hand side with the injury to Taylor, 1-1. One one. Uh, 6 for Sunny So didn't have anything to do in his uh, one minute of play. Mayanch had a 7.9 with three intercepts. A 9 for Higinye, one goal and a tackle. Uh, a 6 for Lefervre checking in late. An 8.4 for Ben Kite. He got an assist and um, was quite influential there, especially in the second half. A 7.5 for Dylan Allen didn't have to do a lot today, but acted as a link-up man. And Taylor gets a 7.5, two tackles, two intercepts, but unfortunately a big injury for him. We'll have to wait and see what the verdict is on that one. Get voting up in the eye for your player of the match. Well, after playing Leeds, uh, they want Colombo on loan. I'm going to have to reject this one. I was going to send him out on loan, but uh, we're going to reject this one with the injury to Taylor. He is going to have to serve a purpose here for us and uh, probably have to do a pretty big job as well. Because the news is that Eric Taylor has broken his ankle and he will be missing us for three months. Right, we are in Canada and we're looking for a world-class goalkeeper. I mean, I don't know if, if they're going to make any uh, impact into this team at all. But uh, there's a couple of decent players here. Tyler Henry, 47 to 65, 76 to 94, a 300 grand evaluation. And also Jordan Moore, 54 to 72, 68 to 92, 350 grand evaluation. Uh, we are going to sign both of them into the Youth Academy. Right, it is the final scout report here in Italy. Alessio Bruno is the pick of the crop. Uh, 50 to 62 overall, 78 to 94. Uh, we'll have a quick look through what else is floating around. But, um, you know, there's some decent 94s, but they've got really low evaluations. Bruno's is at about 300 grand. So um, we're going to pick him up and put him into the academy. Right, and we are in South Korea. And uh, Yong Soo Hung has left. He's got himself a club. Uh, Yu Sun Chan looked all right. We are going to make some signings here, though. Dong Sun Han won't be the man. We've got a Chun So Ro. Uh, no, not him. Sun Su Rim, Hon Gil Cho. No, John Su Chang, a no-face man. But uh, we will sign uh, Yi Sun... Yi Jun Sin, uh, 57 to 69, 77 to 94, 450 grand evaluation at right back. And also Chi Hu Hak, uh, 59 to 71, 77 to 94, 475 grand evaluation. We'll sign both of these South Koreans into our academy. All right, Liverpool with a cheeky 20 million offer for Dylan Allen. You can fuck right off. And we also picked up 76 grand for losing in the third round of the FA Cup. Well, Real Madrid are in with a 14 million dollar offer for La Ferva. He can fuck right off as well. Right, we will continue to send our scouts out because you never know, we might get knocked out of the Champions League in another couple of seasons. I don't know what's going to happen, but uh, we'll continue to send out. It's always fun to go and look for new and exciting talent. So uh, let's get our random number generator out, picked another three couple of countries. Uh, first one off the bat is 171. And this one comes from Tomahawk79. How are you doing, Tomo? Uh, if you don't know who Tomahawk79 is, go and check out his channel. He's an Australian. He is a streamer. And uh, he is a world of fun to go and watch. Uh, he wants Romania for physically strong. No worries. Right, next one is 75. 75. Where are you? Okay, Rafa Bravo wants the USA for any. Done. And the final one is 128. 128, 128 is from Farrell Collins, Saudi Arabia for a playmaker. Too easy. Well, an interesting offer in here, 37.2 million for Minara Sato. He is a potential to be special player, and he is a real impact player. I don't want to let him leave the club. We are going to need this squad depth. He is an 80 overall uh, at only 22 years of age. We are going to reject. Right, time to get into game number two of the episode Premier League action. We travel to Wales to the Liberty Stadium to take on Swansea City. Uh, I've had to put some rotations in. Some players are starting to come to me and say, look, boss, I need some minutes. And uh, so we'll have to wait and see. Maybe we can get some loan spells. The squad is probably a little bit thick with the younger players floating around. And 
you know, those players we've had for a couple of seasons, the likes of Sato and Johansson and Fitzy, all right midfielders, all around the 80 rating. It's just really hard to give them all team time at the moment. And uh, obviously that'll change once the Champions League kicks off once again. But uh, for now, they're asking for minutes, so we're going to have to try and oblige. We have got a, a, an assailable lead here at the moment in the Premier League. Uh, Crystal Palace dropping down out of the top four now. The big teams are starting to creep their way up. So uh, this second half of the season, all important here for Forest Green. We want a Premier League title. Uh, but we've also got to keep one eye on the Champions League. So uh, this should be a big game. I've made a few changes to the starting lineup. Uh, Freeze comes in for Wilson. Uh, Miguel is in at left back. Colombo at right back. It is Bischoff and the Castro in the centre back roles. I think Hayes is still about two, three weeks away from coming back from injury. Obviously, Bunbury is still out injured. Um, PC Mock will start today on the left hand side. Just trying to get some rotations, keep lads fresh, and get them some minutes while we can. And uh, we'll see if we can get the job done. Here is the Swansea City lineup. It's Nordfeld between the sticks. Guas, Mokom, Mangala, and Lato. Okay, Fulton in the central defensive midfield position. And they've got Renato Sanchez and Mesa in the midfield. Uh, Otis Ruiz with the helmet. We know about him. And Baston and McBurney up front. Some, some tall timber. All right, Swansea City. Well, here is Zanon between the sticks for us, of course. Colombo, Nicastro, Bischoff and Miguel. Uh, Dior just cannot get a look in at the moment. Zanon is in red-hot form, and why would you want to dislodge him? Aguinha, Charlie Allen and Mock across the midfield, and Dylan Allen is up front. Let's go. As well, Colombo finds Charlie Allen. He'll slip this one on for Higuinha, and he uses a burst here, Higuinha. Chips over the top, and Gala gets the block. An early corner for Forrest Green. Charlie Allen whips inside, and Gala destroys Dylan Allen. Absolutely destroyed him in the box. Mayic to Colombo, plays it back. Here's Miguel. Slips on through, free saw. Dylan Allen still down. He needs to get up. Here's Miguel. Slips it out wide for Mock. Dylan Allen looks to have recovered, which is good. Free. Dylan Allen does have an injury. Hopefully he can run that one off. Oh, Cesar Miguel has just stripped Sanchez. Mox got himself an injury. Charlie Allen. There's a lot of pressure here from Swansea. Freeze. Sends it out wide. Out to Colombo. Oh, yes. Down the line for Higuinye. Make a burst, Higuinye. Cuts back nicely. Tried to cross it in. Picked off. Higuinye gets the touch. Tries to flick it forward. Charlie Allen gets the touch on. Maic feeds it off, here's Mock into Charlie Allen, back to Mock. He plays it out wide, Maic gets the touch on. Freeze turns and shoots, and Nordfell makes the save. And Forrest Green with a corner. Colombo gets up, rises to the occasion. Charlie Allen off to Freeze, and here's Aguinho with space. Aguinho works his way forward, here's the cross. Colombo! Oh, what a finish from the Italian! Surely he's onside, he is. And while that's all, I'm pretty sure that's his first goal. Well done, lad. Oh, he's gone for the old man. Well, what a ball inside. And there was Colombo with his majestic mohawk. In the vision. And he's got forward there. The right back. And he smashes it home. A lovely finish from the Italian. And let's have a look at that on replay. Higuinye. Just launched it. Turned burn into the box. And oh, that is beautiful. Last of the Mohicans. Colombo, lovely finish in the image of Jean-Daniel Tomite. And he gets himself the goal. 1-0 Forrest Green. Oh, Higuinye picked his pocket. He'll use his pace now. They're not going to catch him. He works his way down the wing. Can he feed this one inside? He can. He wanted Mock. He came through late. Here's Colombo, the man of the hour. Slips this one off for Higuinye. Plays it inside Charlie Allen. He's got freeze. Chips it forward for Dylan Allen! Come on! 2-0, get in. Alan, Alan, oh, Forrest Alan, Green, balls into the box, and Swansea Alan, have no answer. Alan. And Dylan Allen with his 19th goal of the season. He's got an injury, and he's still giving away piggyback rides. What a ball in there from Freese. He's chipped it forward, keeping it to come out and do better. And Dylan Allen just pops it home. He knows how to head one home, that's for sure. A lot of headed goals for him this season. And it's 2-0 Forrest Green. Well, Colombo's been done. Here they come inside. So 
Swansea City starting to put some pressure on here. But we hold true with our defensive line. There's Fulton, gets past the Guinea helmet, head inside to Boyer, and there it is. Swansea with the answer. And 2-1. Well, Zanon's been beaten for the first time in quite some time. 31 minutes gone. It's an absolute slugfest here for goals. And they get one back. And they just destroyed through our defence there. They just could not close the space quick enough. Virginia tried his hardest. Miguel got caught napping. Bischoff caught behind. Trying to slide tackle in the box as well, Bischoff. That's probably uncalled for, mate. And just whips it past Zanon. It's 2-1. Game on. Solid from Cesar. Lovely work there from Fries. Myers will feed it off. Get the touch on here from Charlie Allen. And PC Mock flies through the deck. He's got Higinye working for him out wide. Higinye just runs into a brick wall. Needed to do better there, Higinye. But he fights for the ball back here. Gives away the free kick. And they play it away through Fulton. Well, a free kick here for Swansea on the cusp of half time. They've been quite electrifying in the last 10 minutes. And they just missed out there through Renato Sanchez. Well, there's the whistle for half-time. Swansea have brought their way back into the game. And at half-time, it's 2-1. Myers gets back and does the defensive work. Colombo plays it forward. Picked off by Rook Mensa. And Sanchez again. Plays it through the middle. Helmet head. Off to Sanchez. Back to Helmet head. Feeds it forward. McBurney finds Sanchez. And he misses the opportunity. Oh, lovely work from the Castro. Miguel slips this one off. Mark. Finds Charlie Allen, he lays it off. Higinye dodges and weaves his way through the traffic. Here goes Higinye. Can he get something to run on here? Higinye dodges and weaves his way around. Lovely step, feeds it back inside. Freeze, back to Higinye. Turns his man beautifully. It's a lovely touch. Higinye feeds it inside. Dylan Allen! Oh, he's hit the sidebar from there. Come on, son. Oh, good work from Mark. And here's the steal. Freeze. Can't fire it forward. Helmerhead gets the touch, but Higinye comes flying through. And he works his way down the line here. Higinye, can he get this cross in? He can, it's in the box, but no one there to take it. Dylan Allen can't get any running or any momentum with that hamstring. We're going to have to make some substitutions soon. Renato Sanchez, Bischoff's got the pace to go with him, and he feeds it out to Dubois. They feed it forward now. Here's McBurney and Cesar Miguel. Brilliant. Oh, they fire in the final third. Here's Colombo. Big Italian right back just works his way through the deck. Can he get this pass on? He does. Dylan Allen feeds it off. Hands the ball through Charlie. He does his man in beautifully. Charlie Allen! Oh! Three changes. Charlie, Higinye, and Fries will check out. Lafurva, Fitzy, and Johansson check in. Johansson in to centre midfield. Dylan Allen's going to run this one out. Uh, coverage shown by the captain. Oh, Lafurva, lovely touch on. Johansson with the fresh legs. And he's going to dive through here. Keeps going, Johansson. Keeps going, Johansson. Oh, no. I've lost my thumb grip. Oh, no. I'm one man down. All right. We're back in action. Johansson. Lefebvre. Oh, it's a lovely ball. PC Mock. Is he onside? He is. Oh, just swooped in like a seagull on a hot chip. Talk about luck falling in your lap. And PC Mock puts it in the back of the net, his second of the season. And what a way to score that was. A lovely ball in from Lefebvre. That just hooked to the outside of the boot. And I think it was Mike taking the strike, but uh, it just fell to Mock. He just turned, burned, and delivered. 3-1 Forest Green gets in. Block from Bischoff, good block from Castro. Lefebvre gets the touch on, Fitz, he plays it off. Dylan Allen lays this one off, Bischoff's made the run. Mock's making a piece of it out wide. Can he create something here, PC Mock? He's going to deliver this one in. Dylan Allen trying to get the header down, but it's good defending there from Swansea. And that will get us now on the counter. Feeds it forward. Cesar Miguel needs to do the job, and he does. He feeds it back to Zanon, who I can't change. Why the fuck couldn't I change to the keeper then? That is an absolute debacle. And here is Fitzy. He tries to turn his man, gets checked and wrecked. Sanchez punches it away, but another victory for Forrest Green. Lovely goal scored today, and it's 3-1, and another three points for Forrest Green. Well, eight shots to seven. They were right in the game. 14 tackles to 10. It was a tough encounter, but uh, we come through with the goods. Swansea leave with fuck all. And uh, let's have a look here. Higinio with a 9.43 key passes and assists, a couple of tackles. 
Uh, an 8.7 for Fries, one assist, one key pass, two tackles, two intercepts. A 7.3 for Zanin, conceded one, only had to save one. An 8.6 for Colombo with two intercepts and a goal. An 8.1 for Nicastro with two tackles. An 8.3 for Bischoff with two tackles. An 8.7 for Cesar Miguel, three tackles and three intercepts. A 6.7 for Johansson, an 8.4 for Mayich with three intercepts, two key passes. A 6.5 for Fitzy, 7.4 for Lefebvre, an 8.3 for PC Mock with a goal. An 8.7 for Dylan Allen with a goal, one intercept, one tackle. A 7.6 for Charlie Allen with one tackle. Get voting up in the eye for your player of the match. Fuck! Right, we are in some serious trouble. Dylan Allen has uh, broken his toe, and he will be missing for two months. So uh, let's hope we don't have another JDT. Sorry, if you're not familiar with the Cheltenham Town save, um, we got through to the Champions League final. JDT had carried us the entire series, and um, he got injured before the Champions League final and did not get to play it. Uh, so two months without Dylan Allen, so that's going to leave it till mid-March before he is back in action. <sighs> decisions, decisions need to be made. <laughs> oh, fuck. Nice have come in with 87 million for Higginye. Well, Dylan Allen's just gone and gone himself injured. The rest of our strikers, other than Robbo, are out on loan. Uh, Higginye, I think you're going to be the man up front, mate. Uh, so we're going to have to reject this offer and get training his bloody finishing. Well, Nottingham Forest have put in a one-year loan offer here for Williams. We are definitely going to be rejecting that. He is a good backup player. Well, I've got a loan offer here for Lund. This is probably a decent move. Uh, he's not really getting a lot of game time. Uh, we can play Fitzy on the left. We've got Mark and Ben Kai. So I'm going to accept this and let Lund head off to uh, Ingolstadt to uh, get some game time, hopefully. And Lund has left. He has gone on loan to Ingolstadt. Right, we've got a transfer offer here from Levante, 18.6 million for Bischoff, but uh, we're definitely going to need his services moving forward. We're going to reject. Right, it's transfer deadline day. I'm not sure we're going to get another game into this episode. I just want to cover a couple of things here. Um, we've only got 25 million to play with and 53 grand in, in budget, so I'm not even going to be able to bring in a world-class striker. There's only one striker that I have got on my eye, but um, it's not even that you know special. It's someone that we've been monitoring for quite some time. Let's go and have a quick look. Right, so taking a look at my transfer list that I've got going here at the moment, uh, there's Allende Lopez, uh, the Spanish lad, 84 overall. Definitely would be a decent pickup, but I don't think we need a cam. Uh, Lazzari's up to an 84. Uh, De, De Jesus Santos is probably one that I was looking at, an 84 centre back. Um, six foot six voted at 29 million, so we can't even afford him. Uh, we'd have to offer between 35 and 47, and then we wouldn't be able to afford his wages. Uh, Jemison Remy as well, 31 million. So we just don't have enough cash to go after a big player that's going to come in and, and really be able to do a job. Someone asked where Barnett went. He is at Bologna. Uh, there is the regen for Ronaldo. He's valued at 35 million with his shit fucking work rates and weak foot and everything. Uh, Yao Guy, 82. Uh, we don't really need central midfielders. We don't need right wingers. Um, Forney could have been an okay pickup, but an 81 is not really an improvement for us. And then we just filter down. You can still see here, there's still no strikers. We've got a couple of center forwards here. Um, an 80 rated at, what's he, 5 foot 6, not going to help me out. Mercado de Santos uh, at 5 foot 8 with 5 star skill moves, but uh, unfortunately. Um, I don't think he is going to be able to do a job for us either. I mean, I'd rather play Sun He So up front. Uh, a Yongo, well, 22 to 36 million uh, for the Eto regen, 5 for 8. I mean, he's got pace and stuff, but I don't think it's worth paying that kind of money. He's not going to grow too much more. Uh, and then we go down to Aidu, who uh, is currently out on loan. He's the one that I probably wanted to bring in, Evans Aidu. Uh, six foot tall with a five-star weak foot. Probably would have served us quite well, even though he's at 79. Just sort of would fit that, that game style that I uh, like to play with my big forward. But then after that, there is literally nothing that I've found in regards to regens. Now, if we move all the way down here, we've got Billy Hanley, 6'2", five-star skill moves, currently playing for Stoke. Um, could have been an option, but I don't know if it's worth it. Wouldn't you rather see one of the old faithfuls get the job done here? I mean, Dylan's only going to be out for seven weeks more, so uh, that's just sort of where we're sitting at. Um, like, some of these lads would be okay, but 
just, just, I just can't, I just can't do it. I just can't do it. I just don't have any, you know, wanting to, to bring any of these big strikers in. I want to put Higginia out front and see if he can actually pull his finger out and get the job done. So uh, I don't think we'll make any signings. We'll see what happens on the last couple of hours of deadline day. Right, so that's it. No signings for us there in January. Um, did we sell? We've got a couple of players gone, but there just was nothing that really tickled my fancy on what I wanted to bring in and that I thought could really help out this team. Um, so let's have a look at our current youth academy. Lino Oliveira, 84 to 90. Connor Turner's 90 to 94. Yijin Sin, 78 to 92. Chihu Hack, 78 to 92. Julio Paz, 85 to 91. Alessio Bruno, 83 to 94. Brian Clark is a 62 overall, 85 to 91. He's five foot nine. Uh, Yasin Hillel, 63 overall, 87 to 93. Anthony Gagnon, 85 to 91. Juan Pablo, 91 to 94. 63 overall, five foot seven. Uh, Tito Morales is a 59 overall, six foot six, 82 to 88 potential. He's physically strong, but uh, you'd assume that he's not really going to be able to help us out against uh, these big teams at this stage. Diego Montoya is 84 to 90. The Mimi Marquez is probably going to want to ask to come up. Not sure we've got room for him. 81 to 87, physically strong. Tyler Henry, 80 to 94. And Jordan Moore, 72 to 92. So a pretty stacked academy at the moment. Uh, and not many places available in the first team because uh, I couldn't loan out anyone. No one wanted to buy our lower rated players. And uh, the big players they did come in for, I wanted to keep around the club. Probably a good sign there because we've got right midfielders. We can move Higginia out front. It means Sato, Johansson, and Fitzy will get some more minutes under their, babe, under their belts. Right, so let's wrap this one up here with a full squad report. Uh, Zanin is an 86. He has gone up four. And um, let's have a look at his st attributes coming along. What's his, his reactions are up to 84 now. Uh, really turning into a world-class goalkeeper. And uh, going to be hard to beat. Hopefully he can keep us in the games. Bjorn, Bjorn is out on loan 74, gone up one. Uh, Dior is the backup man now at 81. At right back, we've got NJ out on loan 71, gone up one. Ture is 77, he's gone up two. Uh, Bell is a 76, gone up two. He's come back from loan. Wolf is a 70, he's gone up two. Uh, Cosmichu, no, that's Colombo, 76, gone up three. I, just, I was trying to loan out some of these right backs. They just, no nibbles. And uh, Cosmichu up to an 85, gone up two. At centre back, we've got Bischoff's an 81. Nicastro an 83, gone up three. Ramsey a 66, gone up two. Sabukwe 65, gone up three. Williams 75, gone up one. Uh, Hayes is almost back from injury, five days. Uh, 83, gone up one. Kram's out on loan, 70, gone up one. Max Henry is out on loan, 69, gone up two. Petrowski, 68, gone up four. Didn't get any nibbles for him. Griffiths is 65, gone up three. Cesar Miguel, 74, gone up three. Taylor, 81, gone up two. Still two months away with that broken ankle. Uh, Tekka, 68, gone up one. Bunbury uh, is a 77 and still four months away from action. Charlie Allen's an 87, gone up one. Fitzy an 82, gone up two. Johansson an 82, gone up three. Sato is an 80, gone up one. Uh, so you can see we've got some we've got some room on the right hand side. So I think Haginye can go up front for us. Hopefully he can finish his dinner. Wilson is an 81. Willems a 71, gone up four. Nagahama a 75, gone up three. Mayach an 82, gone up four. Freese is an 80, gone up two. Sunny Sel a 79, gone up one. Ben Kite an 84, gone up one. Singh an 58, gone up one. Lund a 78, gone up one. Went out on loan. Mock is an 86, gone up one. Lefevre a 76, gone up three. Sepulveda out on loan, 74, gone up two. Uh, Lavaris out on loan, 75, gone up two. Kim is a 65, gone up one. Uh, Robbo is a 67. Norimori 76, gone up three, out on loan. Uh, Sheed is a 76, gone up two, out on loan. Higinye is up to an 89 now. Uh, I have been training his finishing. Um, so what's that up to now? 78. It still needs a little bit more. But uh, hopefully he can grab the ball by the horns now and uh, really make way and help out the captain who is out for two months. An 82 gone up one at Dylan Allen. And Zalewski is a 79 gone up two. That is our full squad. No signings, unfortunately. I know you just wanted some more players into the team, but there was just no one I felt could come in and really have an impact. Um, so we will push on, and uh, hopefully we can push through in this Champions League tournament. These boys are unhappy about their game time. Well, they're going to get some fucking minutes now. That is for sure.
Right, so I have seen some comments to change Higinye's number, give him Park's number 11 now that he has left the club. Um, so I want to see some comments. Uh, let me know, do you think that Higinye should move to the number 11? I know DP was the original uh, man that gave Higinye his upgrade. So if he pipes up in the comments for this video and says yes, can you please give him number 11? Uh, we will go ahead and do that one. So uh, get buzzing in those comments. Does Higinye move to number 11 or has he trademarked this 99? Right, so just the two games for you, a bit of transfer stuff there, a squad report and all that kind of good stuff. This episode's probably long enough, but we are smashing it here in the Premier League. I mean, we're playing some of the bottom teams, um, getting the job done. The next episode should be a very decent one. We've got Crystal Palace, uh, then we have West Ham who are near the bottom, but then we have Bayern Munich in the Champions League, and that will be the real test. No Dylan Allen, no Bunbury, uh, who is going to score the goals for us. That will be the number one question. Tune in to find out. We will see you in another episode. Smash the like button for me. Leave comments. We need we need some traction. We need some uh, some traffic on this channel. We need to get the, the watch time up. We need everything growing uh, so that I can uh, start propelling and getting ready for relegation regen rebuild to hit the channel. We're looking around the early March at this stage. Um, so look forward to that one. I'll probably have another video or two possibly before then uh, in the lead up to that. But uh, that's where we'll leave today's episode. Hopefully you did enjoy it. We will see you in the next one. I'm Spiring DK. It's 5 o'clock somewhere, and you have a good one.